In the pursuit of money, people can be driven to commit crimes and even turn on their closest friends. This was the case in a story that took place in the northwestern region of Wyoming, where a man went to extreme lengths to get his hands on an inheritance that wasn't rightfully his. The man went into the forest with his wife, but returned alone, claiming that they had become separated and she had disappeared. Despite extensive efforts by local rescuers and concerned citizens to find the missing woman, no trace of her was found for several days. Just as hope was beginning to fade, a surprising savior emerged in the form of a grizzly bear. One of the searchers reported on the radio that they had finally found the missing woman, and it turned out that she had been protected and kept alive by the bear during her time in the forest. The incident serves as a reminder of the extremes that people will go to for money, and the importance of perseverance and cooperation in the face of adversity. In a shocking turn of events, a woman who went missing in a forest in Wyoming was found alive and well, guarded by a grizzly bear. The woman's husband had taken her to the forest under the pretense of a weekend getaway, but had actually planned to kill her in order to inherit a large sum of money and assets from her recently deceased aunt. After the couple became separated, the husband claimed that his wife had disappeared, but in reality she was being protected by the bear and could not be approached. After a few days, the woman managed to escape and was taken to a hospital for examination. It was discovered that the woman had been living in fear for months, as her husband had been planning her murder for some time. When he finally revealed his plan during their walk in the forest, the woman was shocked and unable to resist. This harrowing tale serves as a reminder of the dangerous length some people will go to for financial gain, and the importance of staying vigilant and aware of one's surroundings at all times. In a shocking turn of events, a woman who had gone missing in a forest in Wyoming was found safe and sound, guarded by a grizzly bear. The woman's husband had taken her to the forest under the guise of a romantic weekend away, but had actually been planning to kill her in order to inherit a large sum of money and assets left by her recently deceased aunt. As the husband slowly approached his wife with a knife, the sound of breaking branches caught his attention. Suddenly, a huge grizzly bear appeared, causing the man to flee in terror. He believed that the bear would do the dirty work for him and decided to call the police after waiting for some time. However, he had not considered one important detail, the bear was not going to attack his wife. Seven years prior, the woman had saved a bear cub with her grandfather in the same forest. They cared for the cub before releasing it back into the wild. The bear had not forgotten its savior and recognized her distress. The bear went to her aid and protected her from harm. The husband was unaware of this story as his wife had never shared it with him. After the husband fled, the bear took the woman to its den, pushing her inside with its nose. The den was soft and warm, and the bear would not climb inside but instead circled around and kept anyone or anything away from it. The bear brought the woman berries and nuts and showed concern for her safety. When people approached the den, the bear continued to guard its savior and did not allow anyone inside. After spending some time with the bear, the woman realized that the bear would not hurt her, but she was worried that it might harm others while protecting her. She stayed in the den, trying to figure out the best way to leave without offending the bear. Eventually, she snuck away quietly and ran to safety. She was severely dehydrated from the experience as there was no water in the den, despite the bear bringing her food. When the husband found out that his wife had been found, he attempted to flee the state. This story serves as a reminder of the length some individuals will go to for monetary gain and the importance of remaining vigilant and aware of one's surroundings. In the northwestern part of America, in the state of Wyoming, a shocking event occurred. A woman went missing in the forest with her husband, who returned alone, claiming they had gotten separated and he could not find her. A search party was immediately organized, but to no avail. It wasn't until a searcher on the radio reported finding her that the woman was discovered. However, she was guarded by a grizzly bear who wouldn't let anyone approach her. Eventually, she managed to escape and was taken to the hospital where she explained what happened to her. Months before, she learned of a massive inheritance after her aunt's passing. Her husband, after planning for a long time, took her into the forest with a knife and told her of his plan to kill her for the inheritance. However, a grizzly bear appeared, frightening the husband, and he ran away, leaving his wife behind. The bear took her to his den, keeping her safe and warm and bringing her food. Eventually, the woman escaped and returned to her home. The husband was arrested and convicted of attempted murder and endangerment of his wife. The woman often visited the forest, bringing treats to her savior, and expressed her gratitude for saving her life. This story shows that kindness and good deeds often come back around. By saving the bear cub, the woman earned a savior who repaid her kindness when she needed it most. Many unexplainable things happen in our world, often leading people to search for magical explanations. Some believe in the existence of invisible guardian angels who protect them from possible harm. They look back and realize that some unknown force made them stop at a certain moment, saving them from terrible danger. Today, we will share a story about how a wild animal, a huge brown bear, acted as a guardian angel for a married couple. Sit back and relax as we dive into the tale. This story took place in eastern Siberia, a place where many remote villages are situated far from big cities. In such villages, if an emergency occurs, it may take a while to reach the city for necessary help, which can often be too late. 
In one of these villages, our protagonists, a young couple, were expecting their first child to be born soon. In a remote village in eastern Siberia, a young couple was expecting their first child. Despite her due date being close, the wife was reluctant to leave her home and go to the hospital. However, one morning, her water suddenly broke and labor began. The husband hurriedly carried her out of the house and placed her in the car, speeding towards the city. As they were driving, they came across a huge brown bear lying in the middle of the road, obstructing their path. The road was narrow, with trees growing close on both sides, so they couldn't simply drive around the bear. Despite honking furiously, the bear remained motionless. The wife was visibly nervous and in pain, while the husband was unsure of what to do. He then decided to take a risky step, gathering all his courage and getting out of the car to lure the bear away. He grabbed a loaf of bread that was in the car and slowly approached the bear. In a remote village in eastern Siberia, a young couple was expecting their first child. Despite her due date approaching, the wife refused to leave her home and go to the city for the birth, causing her husband to worry. However, when her water broke suddenly, he quickly carried her to the car and sped towards the hospital. On their way, they encountered a huge brown bear lying in the middle of the road, blocking their path. The man honked furiously, but the bear remained unresponsive. Desperate to get past, the man got out of the car with a loaf of bread and slowly approached the bear, hoping to lure it away. The bear lazily ate the bread but did not move. After waiting for around half an hour, the bear finally got up and left the road, allowing the couple to continue on their journey. However, just around the next turn, they encountered a tragic accident involving a heavy truck that had lost control and rolled over, killing the driver and passenger. Realizing the bear had saved them from the accident, the man felt grateful and believed it was their guardian angel in the form of a wild bear that had protected them. They arrived at the hospital, and the wife gave birth to their baby boy in the ambulance. The man couldn't help but think about how their fate could have been different if not for the bear. He believed that everything happens for a reason, and that we should be more attentive to the signs of fate that can protect us from possible misfortune. In conclusion, let us be grateful for the little things in life and appreciate the good that comes our way. Who knows, maybe there's a guardian angel looking out for us in unexpected ways. A woman adopted a lion cub and this experience finally taught her a lesson about life that she never knew before. Have you ever been to someone's house and realized they're different from other houses? If you've been to Anne Sneeman's house, you'll know why some people are so shocked. Why? Because Anne has a lion in her house. She keeps it as a pet. What's more, she has a dog and these animals actually like each other. What is going on? You must be wondering why this animal lover can keep this amazing feline in her home and why it is like a common cat. What is their daily life like? Where is she from? Where is her family? Not have anything to say about her bizarre pet. The lady who keeps this wonderful pet is in Sneeman. She resides near Bella Bella in the Watertown, South Africa, and has always been a lover of animals. Since childhood, she had always loved animals so much. One spring, she adopted a lion cub. The cub needed shelter and care, so she took charge it. After she decided to take in the lion cub, and soon realized that this was not an easy task. She found out how tiresome maintaining a huge feline actually was. However, she's not unprepared. She had actually done some training to keep the cat in her house. The training was for her to be well versed in taking care of a lion. Timba, the lion cub, soon accepted this harmonious and kind family. Just like other ordinary pets, Timba was a troublemaker. He is somewhat rebellious and misbehaving, always disobeying his owner's orders. For example, he is always caught stealing some food from the kitchen. He acts like other cats. However, there was one thing he was actually good for. Timba would often help around the house since he was only a baby. When and took him in, it's easy to handle and take care of him. After all, little cubs have the cuteness factor that adds to their charm and allure. But as time went by, he grew into a huge size and was getting hard to handle as he grew bigger. Timba soon learned how to walk with his owner and the dog since he was brought up. He was very protective and possessive of Anne in a way. To some extent, he really thought she was his mother. His attachment was blatant when other people came into the house. Whenever there were guests, Timber would become jealous and would place himself between Anne and her guests. And loves her pet so much so she always wants to keep both her cat and her dog happy. But since the animals love her so much, they are often jealous. And said, so it can be a challenge with relationships as well, and there are often some jealousy issues about who is going to snuggle up with whom on the couch. She even revealed that Timba was not one to back down when there was a competitor who tried to take Anne's attention. She later revealed to interviewers that he wanted all the attention he could get from her. Whenever she talked about Lion and her dog, and always has a lot of interesting stories to tell. Because dogs and cats are sworn enemies and they fight a lot, which is something we've all seen or heard of. So Timba and Anne's dog often fight. I'm really wondering how to solve the common problem of dogs and lions, she revealed, Timba is usually snuggled up in my lap, while the other person on the other sofa can only be outside. He looks worried. 
If you're really serious about this, you know it's pointless to try to argue with a huge lion who has learned to do something while being domesticated at N's house. Therefore, he became an expert in snuggling up in the couch. This is something that Timba has mastered perfectly. He's fantastic. It's subtly shifting his way onto the couch between myself and whoever's sitting next to me. Sitting on the couch makes him think it's a fun honor. Since she had trained him to behave not as a wild animal but as a domestic pet, Timba's behavior is confusing. He was a feline who absolutely liked cuddling and snuggling with others. He especially loved N's hugs and embraces since he was such an expert. He's consistent, so Timba always ends up getting her hugs. There was another joke that N made about her jealous pet lion. She revealed that lions would become a good pet for her dad because she learned a lot by taking care of Timba. My dad will be very happy to know that I have a lion because he can keep the boys away from their daughters. Timba always keeps people away from his human mother. He does this very well. Everyone is afraid of lions because we all know lions are wild animals, so they would be concerned about Timba's upbringing and instincts.